Hey guys, so we are going on to Exorcism. Go ahead and log in and we will be learning Python. So this is how it works. We have 117 exercises um, to play with. If you click on Hello World, which is the first one. So the what we do is uh, walk, um, walk our way through setup. I'm on a Mac, click on yes. Um, you need to have Brew installed on your machine already. So then you can go ahead and update. So I already have that installed. You can run this to check what version you have for exorcism. Um, click on yes, configure your CLI, and then copy this code um, for your command line interface. Okay, and that's it. So click on yes, and go to the dashboard. And that's it. <clears throat> So we're going to start with Python. We have a few exercises to learn Python with. This is the very first one. So the first step is to read and understand um, what we're going to be doing uh, in the introduction section. All right, so, so basically we are just writing a program that prints hello world onto the screen. Um, down here, we have some messages that will remain the same throughout. And this is how we run um, our tests. So when we start, the test will be red, so it will fail, and then we can fix it, make it print hello world. So copy um, our download uh, script from there, paste it into your terminal, and then enter. And every time you install, it will put it in uh, a folder called Python uh, within um, exorcism folder on your home directory. So I'm just going to open that up in Sublime so feel free to open this up with your text editor. So this is what we have. We have uh, a readme with instructions of what we are about to do. Uh, we have the test file, all right? And we have the hello um, function that we're going to write is empty at the moment. So this is what the text file looks like. We import that library um, and we basically down here uh, extend unit test so we're inheriting from unit tests and we define what well, they've defined a function that basically asserts that whatever this prints so this here whatever it returns equals hello world <clears throat> so that's as far as it goes really so um everything else will help us to achieve that okay so if we um have a look at the readme file everything here looks fine so this is the line of code we need to run um, which is pi test but first i need to cd into the hello world folder so pi test and you need to write hello world underscore test or py and it doesn't find pi test so i need to pip install pi test so pip will help us manage uh, everything that we need or the libraries that we need to install. All right, so that's done. So now we can run our PyTest again. And as you can see, it fails. And you can see here, it says none is not equal to hello world. So at the moment we have pass in the function, which of course is not doing anything. So we need to implement a solution. So we want to print out hello world as a string. So all we really need to do is just return hello world. And that's it. All right, so let's go ahead and save this and run our PyTest and voila, it's all green. A one dot is green and that's what we need to do. So throughout the exercises, that's what we do. We basically get more and more challenges. And once that is done, we need to submit our work up to um, Exorcism, so a mentor will have a look at it. So essentially, we just need to copy that line of code. Let me first clear this, uh, paste it in, and then delete back to submit, and enter the file you just made change to. So not the test one, but world.py, okay? And then submit, and that's it, return, and that's it. And if you now uh, go on to um, the browser and refresh this page, 
you would notice your work should be up here as well. So we have submitted our work. This is a very simple one and we can um, have a look here. You could download it and make more changes or just re-upload, I guess. And yeah, so we can complete um, our exercise by clicking right here. Click on continue. Here you could put a message. Um, just leave everything as it is and just click on continue. And that's the next task and that's it, done. So this was automatically approved. You can view uh, the community solutions. <clears throat> so this is where we look at what other people have done. So this is what I've done. So you can check here. So this person has done the same. Um, he has a parenthesis around, which I probably need to be more mindful of um, in Python is something that I should probably do more. So it's got brackets around it, which is good. So this guy hasn't got brackets just like we haven't. So that's um, probably a Ruby developer. <laughs> so there's another person who hasn't got uh, brackets around it. All right, so this is a very simple one. So everyone has similar um, solutions, but you know, that's all right. So that's what we've done. Uh, this is the next one that we're going to tackle. Uh, we have 6% through. And that's it, guys. Um, I'll see you in the next challenge. So see you there.